Hey everybody, Jeff Teague here. Today we're talking Next Gen 4Runner. And in this video, I'm gonna be telling you the things, the features, gadgets, buttons, dials, styling that you can expect when the next one is announced. First of all, let's set the stage. Let's lay the foundation because we gotta see where we're at before we see where we're going. Look at the lines here. Nice, clean lines. Of course, 4Runner is still tough and imposing and bold. Body on frame construction. And people just buy it. Toyota doesn't do a lot of advertising on 4Runner. People just know where to find it and they keep buying it over and over and over, trading in. We've seen things like the Off-Road and the Limited and the SR5s, all that jazz. Of course, you have TRD Pros. We know we're gonna see an all new interior in 4Runner, but I do wanna show you again, just like I showed you with the outside, what we had been getting. You can get third row seat, you can get sliding rear cargo deck that pulls out or an empty compartment there cavernous, spacious, lots of room. There's also good room in the back seat here. Second row, we'll call it, because it is. Um, headroom, legroom. You'll see two USBs, rear air. So that's kind of what we're dealing with right now. And this is the limited trim level. Look at the bottle openings. There'll be all sorts of improvements and modernization. Moonroof there. Is this the year that we get a panoramic? moonroof here we go and then look at this right here oh that's for the vertical power window oh part-time four-wheel drive and pay attention to the interior especially the front of the limited here because i think we're going to see trim levels that have very unique qualities just like tacoma has very much set apart very specific very unique to each other this is the full-time four-wheel drive. Most of the other ones, they all have the part-time four-wheel drive. And this right here is for the back window. That's what people would like to see continue. We want more of that power back window for our dogs, for our kids, for second and third row passengers. Whoa. And then this right here, the eight inch multimedia touchscreen. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It just really needs improving, modernizing, that kind of stuff. And I think that's one thing that I've been waiting for specifically is to change up the whole interior itself. Since it's all in the same family, I'm sure we'll get some styling cues from the tough, bold look of Tundra and also Sequoia. Of course that could happen. Love that Lunar Rock, by the way. It's like on Silence of the Lambs. Oh, and Senator, love the suit. But I think what we're gonna get more of is styling from this bad boy right here. The 2024 Tacoma, all new. And this one certainly looks bold. Look at that bulged hood there. The fog lights down below. Look at the headlights. Look at the flares around the fenders. I don't know what we'll do with the wheels, but we're gonna see more lines, I think, stand out on this one. It could jut out even on the TRD Pro like Tacoma TRD Pro does too. With those gloss black over fenders, that could happen. So, imagine a cap on this one right here. Are we looking at the next 4Runner right before our eyes? I would imagine that the fifth generation 4Runner is incredibly envious, incredibly jealous of even things like the safety systems. This has the original Toyota Safety Sense P on it. That's for pedestrian and it has four basic features to keep you guys safe. But then Tundra came out with Toyota Safety Sense 2.5, and then Tacoma has Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 with proactive driving assist. That's what helps you keep that buffer between you and cars in front of you. It can have speed on curve reduction. So if you're on a curve, it'll reduce the speed, help you with the steering. It can slow you down in traffic, traffic jam assist. We could also see driver attention sensor right behind the steering wheel that's watching your eyes. If you're not just like you always do to people. If you're not watching this way, it'll say, hey, look up, pay attention, driver and attention alert. So those are things you could look for for safety. I think we're gonna see more interior styling, taking cues, perhaps directly, some indirectly, to our friend 24 Tacoma. New buttons, dials, gadgets, gasmos. And then here's the back seat in Tacoma. Then we're gonna go to the front, like the O-bleep handles there. The seriously, Rob, handles. All right, so look here, we've got openings 
for bottles, little storage compartments. I like that right there. And then we could have even things on an SR5. We could have lumbar support, pump up seat, could have power seat. We just don't know that yet. All right, so take a look here. Leather wrap steering wheel. Perhaps the steering wheel will look similar to this. I don't know. And then you could have either this digital display all the way across. That would be cool. So it'll probably have something similar to a maybe a 4.2 inch or 7 inch screen, probably a 7 inch multi information display, maybe with gauges on the side or fully digital 12.3. So just take a look at this Tacoma and let me know what you think. Toyota Audio Multimedia. I'd be shocked if we don't have some sort of an upgrade like this where you can kind of just touch screen, you can swipe, you can move, all that jazz, and it'll have more crisp displays and more things you can do. Wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You can set user profiles here so you can set your preferences and change them from car to car to car, all having the Toyota Audio Multimedia. And I suspect we're going to have a giant 14 inch screen as at least the largest one that we can have. Maybe it'll start at 10.25 inches. Maybe it'll start at eight inches. Don't know that one for sure. This is the Tundra with that big giant Toyota Audio Multimedia. That thing's huge. Will it also have this, the digital rear view mirror? So we can see people's heads in the way. You can see my camera, my, my big head is in the back seat, let's say. Headrests are in the way of your view. Or you can have a crystal clear view of what's behind you. It's perfect for on the highway. So you can see all lanes of traffic going beside you. Really good safety feature. You just have to get used to this. Digital rear view mirror. I would expect to see that on some trims. And this is Tundra. We could see a display screen similar to this. Fully digital, 12.3 inches all the way across. That could happen. And we're gonna see a gigantic improvement in things that you would take for granted, like a backup camera here. In the Tundra and the Tacoma, it's crystal clear, quite grainy, not much color in the Forerunner one currently, but we're gonna see a lot of this. You might even see more camera angles that you can do, that kind of stuff. Maybe that's what you'll wanna see. And this, it's just absolutely gorgeous in this Tundra. Lots of room. So could we get styling cues from anybody in the family here? Sequoia, Tundra, Tacoma, either way it's gonna be modernized. I keep saying the word modernization, modernized, modernizing, because that's totally what I expect from the interior. And that's what you can definitely count on. You can also expect a power back hatch. I don't see that not being there. I also wouldn't be surprised to see the kick sensor here. Cobra Kai kick. Also the roll down window. So those are all things I would expect now on something like the Lexus GX 550 or the Land Cruiser. You have this window where the glass pops up and you can just pop it right here like that. But you still have the power. But I think we're going to see power hatch, roll down window and a kick sensor. It also wouldn't surprise me to see us be able to change the look of our information display here. When it's in eco mode, it'll be a forerunner icon with green. When it'll be sport mode, it'll be red, but we can also change from casual look. Okay, do we want that? Or maybe we could go to tough, or maybe we could go to sporty, or maybe it'll have smart, who knows? And for things like TRD off-road, and TRD Pro, maybe another trim level, they'll be off-roading tools and resources. They will be improved. They will, we, Toyota built that better mousetrap. So you'll have a great working, smooth sounding, quiet crawl mode, low speed cruise control to get you through obstacles. Multi-terrain select, works great. I've seen it on Tacoma, Tundra, Sequoia, tried it out on all of them. What an improvement over this current gen of Forerunner. It's huge. These pretzels are making me thirsty, Jerry. All right, so you'll have locking rear differential and I would assume you'll have some more off-roading tools that you can use. Maybe a stabilizer bar disconnect button so that you can push that and then that allows more articulation on the moguls and the off-roading and the trails because Tacoma has it and I could see Forerunner going, I want that, that looks really cool. They'll probably get it. I think we're also gonna get some interior surprises and features, and it wouldn't surprise me to see JBL system continue 
with something like this portable flex system. See, you can take this speaker, connect it to other ones, and you'll be at the beach, the lake, the mountain, that kind of stuff, and you can take your JBL Flex portable speaker and just listen and have yourself a beach party. It is time. It's the circle of life. It's the wheel of fortune. And it wouldn't surprise me to have something be a carbon copy of what Tacoma has under the hood as far as powertrain. Could be Land Cruiser, could be all iForce Max, which is the 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine with electric motor power. That's gonna give you 326 horsepower, 465 pound-feet of torque. It could just be that, but I suspect that they're gonna have something like this one here, the 2.4 liter turbocharged engine, gasoline only. That's what I think they're gonna have. And that'll be, like this one is, what is it, uh, 278 horsepower, 317 pound-feet of torque. And if you're a traditionalist who said, nope, I'm not gonna get me a 4Runner if it's no more V6, well, then look for a good pre-owned one because it's just not gonna happen. That's not the way technology is going. Things are more efficient, they're more powerful now. So yeah, you might say, I don't want more power, but well, you'll probably get a boost in MPG. I'm sure we can expect that. You'll get a huge boost in power because this 4.0 liter, where is it, right over here, that is 270 horsepower, 278 pound-feet of torque with a five-speed automatic transmission. Wouldn't you want 278 horsepower and something like, oh, I don't know, 317 pound-feet of torque or 326 horsepower, 465 pound-feet of torque? Yeah, YMCA, the village people like it. You'll like it too. Trust me, you just got to get used to it because that's the way it's going to go. And there's talk that there could be things like a six-speed manual option because, well, you get that option on our friend 24 Tacoma, so maybe you'll get that. Will it have extra features? I know a lot of people want to see direct competition with the Broncos and things like that. Be with, get a removable top. That would be super cool. I just, I don't know if I see that happening, but I can always hope. We won't know until Toyota gives us any information. They've given us nothing. And of course, a lot of people want to know, well, what trims, what grades are going to be available? I've got things like SR5, TRD Off-Road, Limited, all the way down the line. So a lot of different trims available now in 4Runner. Let's see if we can do this. SR5, SR5 Premium, TRD Off-Road, TRD Off-Road Premium, Limited, TRD Sport, TRD Pro. So I think we got seven right now. I see, I don't know what they're gonna do about SR5 Premium and TRD Off-Road Premium. My hunch would be just do a clean break and make it SR5 maybe with a premium package upgrade, but SR5 Limited, TRD Off-Road, TRD Sport. I think we'll have something like the TRD Pro. And it wouldn't surprise me to see something like a Trail Hunter 4Runner. That would be really cool. We see it on Tacoma and we saw it at SEMA two visits ago. We saw the release of our friend Tundra Trail Hunter. Now we haven't seen Tundra Trail Hunter go to market. That's been a suspicious, it's just gone just disappeared. I don't know what's going on. Get Scooby-Doo and the Mystery Machine gang going after that one. What happened to Tundra Trail Hunter? Will Sequoia Trail Hunter be coming out? I have no idea, but it wouldn't surprise me since Tacoma came out with theirs that Forerunner would also. I just don't know yet. Kind of funny how we piece this one together, right? We use cues from Tundra from Tacoma and of course our friend Forerunner. What would life be without a Forerunner? I cannot wait for the next gen 2025 Forerunner to be announced to be released, to be shown to the world. I've seen nothing. I've known nothing. Toyota said nothing. Where's the information? What's the deal with that? Seinfeld wants to know, where's our reveal? Where's our spoilers? Boy, tight-lipped on this one. I assume it'll still be made in Japan. So let me know what you think about 2025 Forerunner. What bells, whistles, gadgets, features, mechanical powertrain, the drive, the ride comfort, multimedia, anything like that, leave a comment, a question. I'll do a follow-up video where I respond to your comments and questions. And then together, we're gonna piece this together like Scooby-Doo and the Mystery Gang. All right, thanks so much. If you want more information on Next Gen 4Runner, current 4Runner, or any Toyota Lexus, go to Toyota Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. Fun content, thorough stuff. And then my second channel is Auto Jeff Reviews. That looks at all autos, so all brands just like Toyota and Lexus, they're there in that channel, but all brands, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook. Yeah, all right, Michael says we're out. <laughs>
Oh! And wait until you see how many Forerunner videos I've already made. If you want to know about an SR5 from 2019, or comparing all trim levels for 2020, or anything like that, click on the suggested playlist right now. It might be what you're looking for. Thanks for being part of Toyota Jeff.